Okay, I'm going to try this again. I made one video. It was perfect. Absolutely perfect. I liked it a lot. But i got to get it going because the reason YouTube didn't accept it because it got too long. Oh, big deal. If you got something to say, i got something to say. Let me get it going. Uh, a friend of mine stopped today. I told you that. Winston the dog. Little sweetheart. A little dickens out of him. Yeah, down. I should get my one of my own, but I think he is my own. Oh, I gotta get it going. Um, I had another visitor this afternoon. Another family from up in my hometown. They stopped in to see me. Said, "Well, we're down the farm and fleet. Thought we'd stop and see you." Okay, you're totally welcome. They were just checking me out, so you have something to talk about in the bar tonight. Okay. Okay. I said, here it is. He says, this isn't your farm. I said, this is my farm. Just a minute. I went up to the house and I got the plot book out and says, you are here. Look at the name. <laughs> well, we always thought you were a dumb little shit. Didn't know anything. You always followed Awald around. Awald, he's a farmer from up there. One of my neighbors when I was at home, at home with Dad on the farm, my best friend in the whole world. Absolutely my best friend in my whole life. But anyway, uh, he had a farm up there, and uh, we went over and helped these guys and stuff like that when I was up there helping Awald. I'm talking fast because I have to because i got so much to say. Okay, now here you go. Um... He stopped and visited my farm, and he didn't believe it was my farm. Yeah. The little the little boy from hometown has got a farm better than you do. <laughs> he said, how do you do it? He said, how much help do you have to hire? I said, I, I do it all myself. It's all mine. i got neighbors who will help me when I need it. Everything like that. I said, well, you're welcome to stay and uh, see how I do my milking chores stuff like that but you probably gotta go home and milk your own cows he says no I got somebody to do it I said well I milk my own oh well how do you keep your place like this and I said well it's just something I don't sit in the tavern every night the only places I go is to church grocery store and the barn and out into my field that's that, that's why I do things I says uh, I gotta let the cows in and, and milk cows you're welcome to stay and see how I milk and uh, I'll show you around but uh, he says won't take you forever to get the cows in us hey wait watch this open up the barn door like that no, my doors don't squeak. <laughs> but I said, Here, bossy, I'm boss, I'm boss, I'm boss. Here they come. Here they come up. I stand there like this. Because all I have to do is wait. They're going to the right stanchel. Everyone's got their own. I got a new heifer coming in, so I put my hand on her back and I says, Here you go. That one's yours. She goes right in there. He says, you got to be kidding me. I go and pull the lever, lock them all up. They can't get out. you got to do that. Not fair, probably, but you got to do it if you want to manage cows. And I can milk them and stuff, and I let them out again after I'm done milking them. But anyway, um, I says, oh, uh, going to take me a while to milk. You can watch me as long as you want, or take one of my tractors out and... Go and look at my farmland. Just follow the blacktop road. <laughs> I got it all blacktop. My roads going out to the field are all blacktop. No, it's not cheap. But uh, he got back and he said, I hope you don't mind I played around with it. I just wanted to take one of the other tractors out. He said, this one's pretty nice. You mind if we play around with him? I said, no, John, you can't hurt him. So he's. 
I says, uh, just a minute, uh, I gotta change milkers here, and I, I change, put milkers on the other cows, and and I, uh, I says, hey, come on, let's go up to the shed. Open up the door, he says, that's what he said. <laughs> he says, how do you do it? He, I said, keys are in the mall. At this point, I'll take him out at night, but uh, go ahead and, and uh, just make sure you're back in time so you can have a good supper with me. <laughs> and uh, he's okay. Well, he's all right, I like that big one. Let's go. I'll show you how to use it. He says, Well, you better. <laughs> so I did. And, and uh, it took him for an hour, an hour and a half to get back. And he says, I went all over the place. I says, You didn't run down my hay. He says, No. <laughs> but, uh, I says, uh, I got done milking the milk house chores, and he said he never seen milking equipment like that. I could go on and on and on, but I gotta f speed this up. And I took him over to show him Amos farm. He says, boy, does everybody down here have farms like that? Is no, just the ones, the neighbors of us who stick together, because we help each other. If I need help, they're here to help me. If they need help, I'm there to help them. He's, he said, boy. We all thought you were going to grow up to be nothing. Well, I says, I'm just a farmer. He says, yeah, but you had a farm. I thought I had a farm. No, you make me feel bad. I said, well, that's not my intention. Why don't you, when you got some spare time, instead of going to sit in the tavern, cut the weeds around your buildings. Uh, if you got some paint, paint them up. Don't take a whole lot. Okay, I, this is a, a remake video of the one I put up before. The other one was better. But uh, this is what I got, so YouTube will take it. Okay, I got to short, shorten this up, so good boy. And I'm very, very, very proud of myself. Somebody visited me from my hometown, and they're jealous of me. You see my farm. Damn it. <laughs>